now we had removed the top cover from place and now we are going to see how to dismantle and overall the top cover on uh, the barrel so this is the tool which i am fitting the brass head is a tool jacking tool for lifting top cover with the barrel so you have to fit in such a way that you can hold it in both the way that means you can hold with the help of the tool so that the barrel don't turn so now we are going to remove the bolts which is connecting the barrel so always uh, as i say use proper allen key while you are uh, removing it because sometimes what happens is if you use a wrong allen key it may damage the head of the allen bolt and the next time whoever do the maintenance they may face problem in fixing the tool to open the bolt so now we are opening the bolts so yeah after opening the bolts uh, keep it uh, separately and uh, safely next you need to disconnect top cover with barrel so this is the tool which i said which we use as a jacking tool it's a special tool provided for uh, that particular fuel pump so you have to fix on the barrel hole you can see yeah both has to be fitted in this way so that yeah okay so now we are fitting it after fitting it it is very simple it all needs to jack it jack the barrel from top cover so you just need to keep on tightening once you tighten you can see the barrel is lifted up both the sides should be tightened as how i am doing now so yeah once as as i tight you can see the barrel is coming out from the top cover neck yeah it is a uh, little bit tricky but uh, not so much uh, to worry about all you need to know it is you have to fix the tool in place properly and the main thing is uh, you should know that this kind of tool is available for doing this maintenance job some some time what happens is uh, uh, this tool was been misplaced here and there and it got missed and it will be a big pain to disconnect the barrel from the top cover okay yeah it's a bit low slow process and just lift it you can disconnect it okay actually uh, now we are lifting it little bit easily because we are uh, opening this uh, fuel pump when we are using lsmgo if you are using uh, vlsfo sometimes all this uh, uh, fuel impurities get stuck between the thing and uh, what happens is uh, you it will be a little bit hard to remove it now you can see i removed it very easily this is the barrel and okay so barrel is kept aside and you can see a top cover has some o-rings some backup ring yeah this is the backup ring and uh, it's a teflon ring so next thing what you need to do it you have to take it to workshop so you have to clean all the connecting pipes just spray nicely remove all the fuel impurities this is the barrel clean the barrel properly and 
okay so the main thing is uh, this injector high pressure pipe area should be cleaned and the leak of holes should be clear that is the main thing that you need to do you have to buff it properly use a long uh, buffing tool so that you remove everything and use a sharp edge uh, welding rod sharp edge welding rod and uh, you can uh, make sure the leak of hole is free of sludge so this is how you have to check the welding rod should come out through the hole to ensure the hole is free this is how you have to check so next uh, this barrel is uh, cleaned so now it's time to overall uh, now it's time to take out uh, the plugs whatever plugs you are opening no? all these plug you have to uh, remove it and clean it properly teflon it and fit it all joints because uh, most of the joints or uh, return line leak off line all those things will be there so sometimes what happens is the sludge get accumulated in way of joints so that is the reason i say you have to do open all the plugs and clean and tighten it okay so after cleaning it uh, make sure you are uh, putting air and air supply is completely mostly uh, yeah you know we are opening the maintenance kit for fuel pump all the surface to be blown with air so that no impurities will be there and okay now uh, what uh, you just have to make sure you are using the proper uh, spares you can see the manual and check with the number accordingly you have to fit so that is what I am doing now okay so this maintenance kit and this top cover will be having a o-ring and backup ring so both should be kept in place properly and when we are fitting the backup ring the end of the backup ring should be opposite opposite with the first o-ring always uh, apply a coat of vaseline so that when you are fitting back it will be it uh, will help the top cover to fit properly it will give away okay that's why i always use vaseline so next uh, use uh, next, next is uh, fitting of o-ring and then comes up uh, with the backup ring backup ring as i said two backup rings one on the top and one on the bottom and make sure both the edges are faced opposite opposite so this is what i told uh, two backup rings and the center will be a uh, o-ring okay so this or the thing that you have to do in uh, top cover uh, maintenance and next we go for the barrel so okay i just put a marking because you got a lock pin over there so that when fitting back i'll be it will be easy to locate the pin so now this is the barrel and i'm going to fit the barrel over top cover and again a layer of uh, vaseline again this vaseline will help to fit the barrel in place properly so easily lift it make sure the marking is done in the barrel also yeah, you can see the ma barrel mark and uh, slowly slowly fit it inside the top cover and you have to match along with the pin so and also you have to make sure the backup ring is not damaged so what you need to do is you have to use a sharp uh, welding rod just to align the backup ring so that the backup ring go, don't get uh, damage so that is what i'm going i'm doing now just push the backup ring if it's come out uh, push the backup ring in uh, groove and okay almost we are there and a little tap will help the 
barrel to go in place so that is what i am doing yeah the barrel is now in place so after that fit the bolts these are all the bolts tighten it properly i use proper tightening torque to tighten it i believe this video ah one more I missed out again the barrel has to be the barrel also have a o-ring and backup ring so sorry for the fast forward i'll come back uh, slowly again mm, okay so after fitting it uh, proper torque wrench torque tightening should be done after the torque tightening procedure you can see the torque tightening uh, value from the manual and then next is we have to fit the backup ring again same thing uh, fast forward sorry for it so that's all i believe uh, this video must give you some idea about how to overall uh, fuel pump top cover assembly the main thing which you need to keep it in mind is you have to fix the top cover o-rings and backup rings properly clean all the joints clean all the connections make sure the leak of hole is clear of any dirt because that is where people don't concentrate much you have to concentrate much on that so that in case of any defect the leak of hole will indicate that there is some problem with our pipes so thank you all thanks for watching keep supporting if you have any doubt regarding this video always you are welcome to message me directly thank you all